So we've just seen where uh, doing a performing simple arithmetic where we may add them together. Let's have a look what happens when we multiply them and this takes a little bit more work. Very similar to the file uh, process that you may be familiar with where we just multiply everything out. We just get a little um, twist in the tail towards the end as you'll see. Let's have a look. So 3 times 3 will be doing and that times that and so on. Your typical filing process that you're probably familiar with. So 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, and then 3 times minus j4 is going to give us minus j12. And then going inside, plus j2 times 3 will give me plus j6. And then finally, the more trickier one, j2 times minus j4. So it's going to be a minus sign, because we've got plus times a minus. And then we've got j times j, j squared. And then we've got 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, okay so far, no, no problems there. It looks like we've invented a, th a third option, a third term, but we haven't, because let's have a look, close look at this j squared. If I take this and I square it, okay, if I square the square root, they're going to cancel out, so that's going to give me minus 1. So now j squared has become minus 1. So what I've got here in effect is minus times minus 1 times 8. So you've got a minus next to a minus, or a minus times a minus, so we've got plus. So what that does in effect is make that into a plus sign. So there's two ways of looking at it. You can think through the process, or you can just think, recognize the shortcut that if you get j squared, it just changes the sign in front. So if it's negative, it becomes positive. If it's positive, it becomes negative. So we've got now 9. If I have these two together, they're like terms. I'm going to have, so minus 12 plus 6, I'm going to end up with minus uh, j6. And I've now got, this has become plus, it's plus 8. So I've now got 9 and 8 is 17 minus j6. Okay, and that's my final answer. That's the two of them multiplied together. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. Let's do another quick example just to cement this. Uh, let's see, let's go with, let's do it the other way around. Uh, no, that won't help much. Let's change the sign. Let's make this, let's change both signs. Yeah, I realise I didn't need to rub that one out. That one's a plus, that one's a minus now. Let's just clear all this out. Okay. So let's have a look. So we've now got 3 minus j2 times 3 plus j4. So same again, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times plus j4 is going to give me plus j12. Minus j2 times 3 is going to give me minus j6. And then we've got the, the last stage. So a minus times a plus will give me minus. So I've got j squared. And then I've got 2 times 4, which is 8. Not surprisingly, similar numbers the last time, but then the signs are different, so the process will end up different. This is going to become plus, because that, of that j squared issue, so this is a minus 1 times a minus becomes plus, so I've now got uh, 9 and plus 7, again, so I've got 17, and this time I've got plus j6, okay? So fairly straightforward.